Are you wondering what the percent compositions of copper and sulfur are in the compound copper 2 sulfide? Well, you come to the right place, my friend. First, we're going to find the total mass, then we're going to find those percents. Take a look. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the element uh, or elements that I see in the compound. So we have copper and we have sulfur. Next is then to write down the number of atoms. That's where the subscripts come into play. If you don't see a subscript, there's a one down there. All right, so there's one atom of copper, same thing for sulfur. There's both ones at the bottom. And then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of each particular element. These masses are found on the periodic table. So copper's mass is 63.55, sulfur is about 32.07. So that's what we're going to plug in, 63.55, 32.07. And then we're simply going to multiply this row and across to find the total mass of that particular element. So the total mass of copper here is simply going to be 63.55 units of mass, and then sulfur is going to be 32. 32.07. And then if we want to find the total mass of the entire compound, which is what we're trying to do here, we're going to simply add them together. So this works out to be 95.62. 95.62. And that was the first step to the process, right? To find the total mass. Now that I found this total mass down here, what we're going to do is we're going to add another column to the table. And we're going to calculate that percent easy peasy. Bam. So to find that mass percent now of, let's say, copper, we're going to take the total mass of copper here and divide it by the total mass of the compound. Just so it turns out that that total mass of copper here is the same as its molecular mass or atomic or uh, uh, molar mass, that's only because there's only one copper atom, the same thing for sulfur. All right, but don't look at this column when you're calculating, look at this column. So we're going to take the 63.55 divided by then the 95.62, multiply that by 100, and then we simply find a percent here of about 66.46 percent. That's the percent here for copper. And then sulfur is going to be the same thing. Take the total 32, 32.07, divided up by 95.62 times 100. This is a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100, all right? And then when we do that, it works out to be now 33, 33.54. And if you add these two percents up, it should equal 100%, which is a nice little check for yourself. And that's all. Thanks for watching. This is how you find the percent compositions of each element here inside of copper two sulfide. Check out some more of our videos. If you can like and subscribe, it helps us out tremendously. We look forward to helping you with more. Take care.